What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. DW here, and today is the first day of summer, not fall, summer. And we have absolutely no time to waste. There is so much stuff we have to get done. So we're gonna do that. Holy crap, I was just prepping a little bit for this and there is so much that needs doing, it's ridiculous. We're gonna be making trips all over the place today to do a bunch of different things. And most of them are focused around planting up our crops. I have actually no idea how much of this I need, so I'm just gonna make a ton. Sorry for the sound, I know it's lovely. But we're gonna go buy seeds, a lot of them. I already have the numbers all planned out, so this should work fairly quickly. Should I just make this whole thing? Why not? We're gonna use it all eventually, right? I'm just gonna do it. We're gonna buy seeds, we're gonna plant seeds, we're gonna water seeds, we're gonna get our house upgraded. We've gotta chop a little bit of hardwood. Just a little bit, and speaking of hardwood, I need that with me. Is there anything else I need with me today? I don't think so, but this seems like a perfect day to warp to the mountains. It'll save us some time. I'm thinking that's a good idea. Yeah, okay, I've got a, I got a plan for how I'm gonna do everything today. So, let's start by taking care of our animals. I guess we'll need to clear this as well, just to make things easy for us. We'll clear all this, we'll take care of our animals, and hopefully by that time, it'll be time to head over to Pierre's. I hope. Hopefully we can budget our time appropriately today. But my goodness, I'm so happy to be playing Stardew Valley. I just got done playing a little bit of the forest, and my goodness, this game is just so much more relaxing than that one. That game's stressful. This one's not. Although today, of all days, that could potentially be stressful. First day of a new season. It's definitely up there with stressful seasons. Or stressful days in this game. Let's see if I can't catch some of our animals inside before they head outside. That'll make taking care of them a little bit easier. Whew. I'm like already stressing out for what is to come for this episode. <laughs> There's just so much. I'm going to be making some changes, not massive changes, but some changes to the layout of everything on our, in our fields. Not drastic by any means, but our, our, si not silos, what are they called, trellises, are going to be in slightly different positions than they were in previous seasons. I don't need to know about my hay, I need to say hey to my animals. All right, let's do a speed run of the coop real quick. Just see if I can't do this quickly like so. There we go. All right, sorry, I need to... My mind is racing at a million miles an hour right now, just trying to think of the best route to take to get everything done and on time. Almost missed an egg there. Okay, animals are done. And we're close to being able to get to Pierre's right on time. So that's awesome. Inventory management is going to be something I need to be very conscious of today. So I'm going to make sure to stash and sell everything whenever I can. Oh, and I didn't get any hardwood over there. Crap. That's already slowing me down. I need that. All right. So let me just sell everything. And we'll go grab hardwood. I should have done that while I was over there. Oops. I don't have time for any of these shenanigans. So we'll sell all that. Okay, so we need to grab three more pieces of hardwood, which means cutting down two stumps so we can take care of that from over here by our shed. We're gonna head to Pierre's next and buy all of our seeds. And from there, we're gonna go to the desert because there are some seeds that Sandy sells that you can't get anywhere else. And I wanna buy some of those. I'm actually not 100% sure what all seeds she has for sale that are exclusive to summer, or I guess that are summer seeds. I know starfruit is one of them, or are one of the, I don't know. We can plant starfruit in summer. I know that. Ooh, by the time we get back, Pam should be ready to take us to the desert. Starfruit, and I don't think there's anything else. I checked quickly before I started recording, just to make sure I didn't screw anything up. And I'm pretty sure, Georgia Cola for Sam, I'm pretty sure it's only starfruit. But what's going on here? Sorry, this is my chance to take a breath. <sighs> a bookshelf? Are we perusing his... What? Found Pierre's secret stash? Secret stash of what? Hey, who's in the bedroom? 
Ooh, are we gonna get caught? Yes, we are. <laughs> what? How, how did you find that? I don't even know what I found. Quick, give it to me. Promise me you won't tell anyone about this. Oh my gosh, is this what I think it is? Your secret's safe with me. Thanks, I appreciate that. Just forget you ever saw this, okay? And I'll just forget that you were snooping around in my bedroom. <laughs> uh, now I have to find a new hiding spot. <laughs> if you know what that was about, good for you. If not, I I'm not elaborating on that. All right, we're going to buy some seeds real quick. Okay, that's a lot of seeds, and that was expensive. And those aren't even the expensive seeds yet. I also went ahead and bought some flooring. It looks kind of cool, and like it would work really well in our kitchen. Oh, I forget, it doesn't show up here now that we purchased it. It's black and white tiles. It looks kind of nice. Okay, from here, I need to go to the desert real quick. And then from the desert, we're going to use the, the warp totem to go to Robin's. Then take the minecart back here and grab our horse so Applejack isn't stranded out here all day. Oh boy. <laughs> we have so much to do and so little time to do it in. Or at least that's how it feels. And it's going to pain me. Yeah. It's been a while since we've been here. There's worms. There's trees that I want to cut down. But in the interest of time and getting this all done today, I'm going to avoid all of it. Including... Well, no, I can't pass that one up. <laughs> I might grab the coconut on the way back, too. Okay, so cacti can be grown inside only, right? Yeah, can be grown... Can only be grown indoors. It says right there. Rhubarb, spring, starfruit, summer, beets in the fall. And that's it. So we're going to buy... 25... Starfruit seeds. That's expensive. That was, what, 11 grand? That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Okay, we're done here. This, this music is not doing doing it for my, my sense of urgency here. It sounds way too slow paced and like I'm taking my time, which I'm not. That was a $500 trip just to get to the desert. Oh, I forgot, we're gonna warp. We're gonna do that anyway, cause I've never done it. And I'm kinda curious as to how that works. Did Applejack not wait for us? Oh, there's Applejack. Okay, let's see how this works. Again, never done this before. I've got a method to my madness of organizing... Whoa. Of organizing my inventory. Whoa. That's awesome. Oh, this is going to work so well. Would it be faster to take that and grab Applejack? Or probably just... It'd probably be faster just to walk back to the farm. So we'll probably end up doing that. All right, Robin, you're going to upgrade our house... Yes, please. 150 pieces of hardwood and 50,000 gold. Thank you. I'll get started tomorrow. It should be finished in around three days. Leah, I have some exciting news. We're getting a bigger house with room for a, a kid's room, I think. I've never had a fully upgraded house in this. I've seen it a couple times on some YouTube videos and such. But I'll never, or I've never had it to myself. Or I've never had my own. So that'll be really nice. Okay, I need to do some quick inventory rearrangement to make this go go faster. Okay, that's much better. This is going to take a lot of energy. I didn't grab any food. That's something I meant to do, but forgot to do. So let's hope we can get this all done. I'm going to time lapse the heck out of this. And hopefully when we're done, we have a field that's presentable.
That was a lot of work, but we're done, and it feels so good. Okay, that took our entire day, but my goodness, it's so nice. I love the way this field came out. I love having the, the trellises here. With having to harvest them every single day, with them being hops instead of green beans, I didn't want to have to trudge through my crops to get to them. So I wanted them along the path that I'd be walking anyway, and I think that's going to work out nicely. I really do. It's going to be awesome. I don't have any energy left. I had to actually eat a blackberry there at the end just to be able to walk back and not take forever. But it's done. Summer. I almost said fall again. Summer one is completed and successfully, I might add. That's a good feeling. All right, we're going to head inside real quick. And let me sell this stuff first. I want to see what this floor looks like. Doing a little bit of remodeling. I like this floor, and we can always get it back, but I think that fits. I, I want to get a different floor in here. We're going to focus on the interior fairly soon. Sometime in the next couple episodes, probably. We're going to save up for a catalog and start building stuff. I think the catalog is just for the... Someone mentioned it's just for the wallpaper and flooring for 30000 but the one for furniture is 100000 and that gives us something to work towards, especially since we just planted so many crops. That's going to make us so much money. We just planted 48 blueberries. Like, we're going to make a lot of money from that. Like, no joke. It's going to be so nice. Oh, I'm so glad that day's over. Ooh, and storm's coming. Or a storm is coming. Ooh, and that reminds me. There's been something. I didn't even make a note of this. I wasn't planning on doing this today. Hold on one sec. The other day I bought a parsnip at Pierre's. It was perfect on a bed of greens and a dash of my special vinaigrette. That sounds delicious, actually. It's summer. That means the house is full of flies. Don't worry. I'll take care of them. Thanks, honey. Can, can, I, can I not kiss you? What? Oh, she's got more important things to do, I see. Okay. Whatever. Oh, Robin. Yes. Work on my house. Thank you. Dear valued customer, thank you for visiting Pierre's. Enclosed is your cashback rewards program rebate. See you soon. P.S. Sorry for the stock message detail. Enjoy. That's really cool. We just spent a ton of money and he's given us a rebate for it. That's awesome. Okay, what I was going to say is I didn't make a note of this. I had no plan of doing this this episode, but I kind of want to now. Okay, so we need iron bars, refined quartz, and... What else? We're going to build a lightning farm. And that sounds really weird, but I think it's going to work really nicely. Okay, we may not be building as many lightning rods as I had hoped. And we'll come grab these in a little bit. Let me go ahead and take care of my crops, which I am in love with. They look so good. And our animals. And I will meet back up to you guys when we're done and we will discuss this lightning farm of mine. Okay, oh my gosh, we're starting to get some trees that are fully growing, which is really kind of exciting. They take up so much space. It's really nice to get rid of some of these. I don't know what I was thinking when I planted all these trees. That was a terrible idea. It's going to be a great source of wood, don't get me wrong, but it's going to be an eyesore for quite some time. And I don't know if I'm okay with that, so we're going to have to cut them down as we see them. And we're almost out of energy already. Today is definitely going to be a... Yeah, we're going to go have to eat something. We got we got plans for today, and I can't do said plans unless I have food. Also, I'm thinking of adding... And let me know your thoughts on this. A walkway somewhere through here. Trudging through that grass is so slow. And I don't want to have to do that every day. So, I, I don't plan on doing it every day. I got to make a, make a fix. If you have an issue, come up with a solution. All right, let's sell... All the stuffs. That's a lot of stuff we could sell. Yes, please. I'm saving all the, the peaches and oranges in case we get... Or for when we get more kegs so we can start processing some of this stuff down. It's going to be super useful. The sap we need to deposit as well. And we need to grab a bite to eat so we can keep on working. 
I feel like after our hard days, don't we have a farmer's lunch somewhere? Yeah, I, we don't need that at all, and I realize that's a waste of the plus three farming. But after all of our hard work yesterday and today, I feel like we've earned it. Okay, so what I'm wanting to do for this lightning farm, as I'm calling it, we need a couple iron fence, some crystal floor. I don't know how much, so I'm just going to make a few. And then lightning rods. So let's go ahead and pull up our existing lightning rods. I like them here. I want to put something else here in their place, but I think I have a better spot for them, and it's going to look kind of cool. I played around with this idea a little bit, and I didn't fully flush it out, but what I did get looked pretty awesome. And I'm thinking of doing it right up here. This space isn't used for too much. So I'm thinking if we lay down... Okay, so we need... This is hard to explain without doing it. So I'm just going to keep doing it and explain as we go. So basically, we're going to have two rows of lightning rods. One on each side. We definitely need more of this. At least three more, I'm thinking. I don't know how this is all going to work. And I want to take this up to there. That should be good. At least for what I have envisioned. Okay, and then we're going to run fence around the sides. And I tested this earlier, and it's not going to be symmetrical. And I'm actually okay with that, because it is still sort of grid-shaped. Oh, that's not where I wanted that. And you guys know how I don't like grids. So if we do that, that should be perfect. We don't want one on this side, because this actually gives us... It looks like it's closed off, but it actually gives us a way to get in and out from the back, which is kind of cool. I don't know if I'll ever do anything up here, maybe plant a couple trees, but this is where we're going to do our lightning farm. So I want to run a bunch of them on the side here on the left, and we definitely don't have enough. I'm going to have to make up some more, but run them up like so. I think we can do one more before we hit. Yeah. So we'll add two more here, one right there, and then we'll start working up this side as well. And you can't... Do I want to... I might line this entirely. Or I might do something at the end. Like a focal point of some sort. I don't know what that's going to be yet. And I want to cut some of this grass just because we need a little bit of it. Not all of it. I want some of it to still grow. Can I get one more piece of that? Oh, dang it. Oh, well. That's fine. Maybe some will sprout up there. That's no... I was tempting fate there. Alright, so we've got one more iron bar. We need to go mining for iron. We might do that this episode. Like today. I'm not sure. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so our iron stores are pretty low. So are our copper stores. Yeah, we're going to go mining. Why not? Also, I played around with a lead rod on stream with my sister for the first time. And oh my gosh, it's fun. I love the clubs. I might see if the Adventurers Guild has one of like the club type weapons. I know I bought the lava katana, but something other than that could be really cool. Do we need to eat? Probably, I'm gonna smash a lot of geodes. Actually, no, we've got food up there at the mines, so we'll just rely on that. Oh gosh, this is a busy episode. Oh, and I've been thinking about the little, I don't know what you call it, teaser, whatever, the riddle that we got from Master Key, or Mr. Key, Mysterious Key, give the sand dragon his final meal. I want to go to the desert at some point and check that out. Not today, because we're going to run out of time here fast, but soon. All right, is there anything here we can sell as well? Combat boots, and we'll take our lava katana, and we'll take some stuff. Ooh, I forgot about the fish in the mines. We're not going to worry about that today, but we will need to hit that up soon and see if we can't get the level 100 lava fish or whatever it is. I don't know what fish I'm looking for, but... Or if there even is one. I'm just assuming there is. All right, let's sell these. Okay. Lava katana is a sword. These are all swords. That's a sword. That's a sword. That's a club. A wood mallet. So we have the lead rod, which is better than all these. I wonder if 
I'm sure there's weapons that you can unlock in... What's it called? Skull Caverns? And that's another thing we need to take care of at some point, is to actually hit up Skull Cavern and see what we can see. All right, let's get all geared up here. That should be good. Yeah, we're going to hit up what level? So 20, 60, and 100. I think 60 is the start of the frost levels, I think, or the end of them. I don't know. We'll start on 60. Our goal is to find some iron. So let's do just that. about halfway through that that I shouldn't be breaking every single rock because the point of doing that is to get geodes and I don't really need frozen geodes the reason I'm wanting geodes is for a chance at getting some iridium but if I'm just breaking open frozen geodes the chances of that happening are pretty slim they're much higher if you break open omni geodes or something of a little bit more value Okay, can we get... No, we probably don't have the time to go to Krobus tonight, sadly. We need to go to bed, get some energy so we don't pass out super early in the day or need to eat super early in the day tomorrow. That could be really useful. Let me go ahead and dump everything real quick, though. Ah, uh, all right, much better. Time for bed. Leah, you are such a good wife. I feel like I didn't see her much at all this episode. I really plan into having a wife. I'm sure a lot of people play this game and just totally ignore their spouse once they're married, but that's that's not the case. There's something awesome about being married in this game, and I can't wait to wake up one of these mornings and have a bigger house. It won't happen right away, obviously. Not this morning, but soon. And there's our storm. Remind me that I need to make some more lightning rods. We have some more iron bars. We have the refined quartz. And we have the bat wings, so we should totally do that, because I don't want to lose any of those crops. Oh, I love rainy days, though. It's got to be so nice. All right, though, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys very much for watching. I do plan on mixing up my hat situation soon. I had one recommendation to swap my hat with Applejack, and I might do that, but I'm not sure. We'll try it out. We'll see how it looks. It might look ridiculous on Applejack. I know that fedora looks pretty sweet on us. But I'm also going to try to visit Hat Mouse next episode as well and see what our options are. But all right, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, as always, take care.